Jesus is in submission to the Father. He's in submission to the Father. They're, that's the rela they're relational. Before you talk about submission, what about his own existence? Did he generate from God? Did he proceed from God? I believe that they, Did he come from God? They eternally existed, coexisted eternally. Okay. I believe that they are one essence. Did the Son exist independently of the Father? See, what are you saying about independently? Because they are one. In the Bible, Jesus says, they are not one. I and the Father are one, he says. And the Greek, it's very interesting in the Greek. One Look what? The Greek, what it says. I and the Father are one what? He says they are one. One what? Well, this is what I'm saying, that it's above our minds. Because this is a capacity it's higher not. than our minds. Actually, it's not above our minds. And if we could understand the same, God, then what kind of God would the that same be? Book that you understand Him. The same book that you quoted, do you know something what you've done? If, if decontextualized that verse. How do I decontextualize that verse? Because in the same book, Jesus says to his disciples, just like I am the Father one. So what is he referring to when he said I am the Father one? He says, just like I am the Father one, you will also be one with us. So now if Jesus and the Father one makes them one God, I don't, I don't and now we have the disciples, part of this Godhead. I don't see a problem with that. Why is that a problem? Because you, you decontextualized the verse. You and I gave you the context. You another verse in a completely no, another I chapter. gave you the context. I believe what you said was John 17. And what I'm saying, I believe is in John uh, 10 or some kind yes, of chapter before. Yes, I gave you the context. But what I'm saying is, when he says, just like I am the Father one, so shall you be the one with us. That means there will also be one in divinity. Ask a pastor on church. It has to mean that. I believe that Jesus can maybe use that in different ways. The one is that was like no. He says just as. That was like four chapters. Later. No, no. He says just as. You see, when we give examples, just as I am this, so shall we. This is the same meaning intended. You're this is how we use English language. Words. You're focusing on little words, but I believe that not little I, words. I, don't see it I focus on the context. I don't. The context. Context is important. Look, if you want to look at the context and look at the whole book. The whole book the says whole Jesus book was John, dependent on the Father. He says, "I can have my dual self, nothing." nothing yeah. And look what the, you know what else the book says? It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Greek is very, the Greek is clear that John is saying that this is God. And then do what you, else also says? You, what also let's, says? Let's address that very quickly. The Word was God. Do you believe when God spoke, let there be light in Genesis? These are the words of God? Park, say that again, please. When God says in Genesis, let there be light, and there was light. These are the words of God. Is that God? I think so. So the words of God are God. What does the Bible say? The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen His glory. Listen. Glory as the only Son from when the God Father. Said, from let God said, let me, let me contextualize so it. When God says, say? let there be light. Is Jesus. Let me, let me help and you, my friend. When God says, let there be light. You know what, what was there? Light was. So light became. Is that like God now? When God said, let there be mountains, let there be seas and fishes what and animals. Saying? Wait, wait, wait. When animals transform by God's command, let they be, does that mean whatever now become flesh, like flesh of an animal, flesh of uh, a, a plant, whatever that is, like material, have they become God now? I don't, I don't know why this is. I am saying problem. your understanding of the text is that when the word of God materializes into something, manifests into something tangible, that is becomes God. What is the it? word of God became light, became sea, mountains, animals. Does that mean they're all gods now? Do you believe Torah, the Ten Commandments, is the word of God? Torah, Ten Commandments? Yes. Ten, and is it God? The word of God, is it God? I believe the Ten Commandments are, are the word of God. Is the word of God God? That's what I said before. Is the word of God God? Yeah. That's what you're trying to imply.